Okay, in this video, we are going to start configuring our consolidated logging. So Elasticsearch is the database that is going to be holding our consolidated log data. On line eight, we can see that we have the Docker Compose configuration for Elasticsearch. Uh, pretty straightforward. We have one environment uh, property we need to set. That is a discovery type single node. And then we need to expose port 9200. So let's toggle over to the command line and we will start working on that. So to set this up, I'm going to use cube control. I'm going to create a deployment. Call it Elasticsearch. And that image is going to equal, I'm just going to copy that. That's quite a bit to type out. And here we want to set up the dry run. Client and then minus O for YAML output. So that creates the YAML file. I'm going to toggle back over to IntelliJ and we want to set up a property, environment property of discovery type. I'm going to copy that on over and here under resources, we want to say ENV. Remember this is going to be a list name. So that discovery type value. And this, you can see that we have single dash node. So that sets up Elasticsearch. So let's come back to the command line and we can do Elasticsearch deployment. And that is going to create the Elasticsearch deployment. So a pod and a container will be created for that inside of Docker's. And now what we want to do is go ahead and set up the service for that. So cube control, create service, and this would be a cluster IP because we, we don't need access it from the outside, Elasticsearch. And TCP, we're going to expose 9200. Dry run equals client. And we'll redirect this to Elasticsearch YAML file. That's created. And then let's go ahead and apply that. And that is created. And coming up, we can see that we have a lot more stuff running under our pods. We can see that Elasticsearch is up and running and we have an Elasticsearch cluster IP uh, port 9200 is exposed. So exactly what we want. So let's come back over to IntelliJ. You can see that we added in the Elasticsearch deployment, and we did have to edit this file to add the ENV property, name, discovery type, value of single node, the Elasticsearch service. Uh, this was generated purely from the uh, Kubernetes command line, and there's no editing required to this file. We just uh, do kube control apply to create the service as previously shown in the video.